Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, using per parameters in Apex class. So I'm going to try and explain basically how it works and different ways you can sort of use it. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. Um, I'll just create a new Apex class here called, um, I don't know, something like using parameters. Okay, cool. So first thing we're gonna do here is, we'll probably create three three different methods, okay? So let's go public static void and let's do something like, something similar to what we've done before. So we're just gonna do a say hello and let me maybe just put a system debug in here system dot debug I don't know why but every time I try and <laughs> make a recording I can't type for some reason all right so we've got our first method there um, I'm just gonna basically copy and paste this two more times so this first one here let's say no params so no parameters um, this one here, we could maybe use a single string. And in this one here, let's use multiple um, ints. So multiple integers. Alrighty, so we've got our um, thing sort of going. So let's go something like say hello string. And in this one here, we'll say Let's do something like add numbers. All right. So we've got we've got a basic three methods here. Now we just need to actually make it happen. So here we'll do something like hello world, a couple of exclamation marks. In our second one, say hello string. So here we can finally start using our parameters. So there we don't have any. Here we can put something like a string and let's just call this um, you can call this basically whatever you want. So let's say something like user, username. So say hello string to person. Yeah, it's a bit long, but oh well, we'll use that for now. So here we're gonna say hello space, put a plus, and then use the username that we've got there and put that there. So it's gonna say hello and whatever we put in there from our parameter. I'll explain that a little bit better soon. I'll try to at least. So here we'll put, put in a couple of ints. So let's just call this like int number one um, and copy that a couple of times just to make it a little bit quicker. So we got int number one, int number two, int number three. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, let's use something like a double here and put a result. So yeah, we're just gonna put num1 plus num2 plus num3. Um, so in our results, yeah, it's, we're just gonna add our three numbers that we pass into our parameters here. And then hopefully what, whatever these three numbers is, it should add up and give us the total result. So let's put our result there. Oh shit. Copy those results. Um, result equals space and then let's do a little plus results. All right, perfect. So we've got we've got all our methods here, which is pretty cool. Let's go into anonymous window, go debug, and this is sort of where we can make everything, all the magic happen now. So first thing that we'll need is we'll need our Um, class name. So I'm just getting the class name three times. Then the next thing that we'll need is our method name. So for our method name, for the first one, let me actually just get all of them going here and then, and then we can do it. So, so we've got our first one, we've got our second one, we've got our third one, and it's all empty. Um, parameters at the moment. 
So for the first one, we'll leave empty because there's nothing here. For the second one, we need to put in something there, all right? So for the second one, let's maybe create something like a string um, person name. And let's call this one, let's just call him Trent. So Trent is a person name. We're gonna pop that person name in here. And let's do something similar for the other one. So let's do integer number one equals two. And just copy this a couple of times more. Let's do integer number two e three. So let's do two, six, and maybe like three. All right. Um, and then we need to put in our three ints in here. So boom, boom, boom. So number one, two, and three. All right, perfect. So hopefully this works. I think it should. So we've got our three methods here that we call there, there, and there. Pass in our um, integers, and then we've got a string for trend. So let's hit execute and see what happens. All right, no error. So that's always a good sign. Let's go to debug. And cool. So you can see in our first one, it just says hello world. In our second one, it says hello trends um, because yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we'll use hello and then the username um, and trends that we had over there. And then in our third one, it's got 11. So six plus two plus three is 11. Um, yeah, so if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.